Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to update VitaShell to the latest version. So if you guys didn't know, version 1.95 is now available. So what you guys want to do is just get your VitaShell, just hold it down, click on the three dots, go to information, and it will say the version. So right now, I'm on version 1.94. So this is very simple to update, and it has loads of new features as well. So it has added the ability to the disable the warning message so when you install VPKs and it asks you um, for that warning message you can now disable that if you don't like it it's also fixed a bug in USB connection where your memory card could be corrupted um, so that's completely fixed now and it also fixed um, a line breaks in the in SFO files and long names will now scroll and it also fixed compatibility with UDC the underscore UVC skprx which i actually had a problem with i can't remember what plugin that was for um i think it was something i was trying maybe it was like the controller or something but i definitely had a problem with that plugin before but now it's completely working so what you want to do to make update need to show just make sure airplane mode is turned off so just hold down the ps button and then just turn that off and then all you want to do is just go ahead and start up the Shell. Now as soon as you start it and you've got a Wi-Fi connection, it's probably going to ask you for an update. Um, as you can see mine just came up now. So all you want to do is just press X and that will begin updating. So it's going to happen very fast and then it's going to start installing. Right, so once it's finished installing it's actually just going to sort of reboot. And then it's just going to open back up. And now if you have a look at the top here, it says Vita Shell on version 1.95. So that is it guys, your Vita Shell is now updated. So what you want to do is just press start and then go down to restart Vita Shell just to make sure it's working. And then it should be fine. So you can actually just close out of this completely. Now as you can see, it's actually reset my themes. So you will need to reinstall the themes and everything like that, which is kind of annoying, but it's good to have it on the latest version anyway. So if you guys are having any problems with installing VitaShell, what you actually want to do is just make sure you're on VitaShell 1.94 or it doesn't really matter. You want to go ahead and press start. Make sure the USB, uh, make sure the select button is on USB. Then just press select. Connect your PS Vita to your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so on your PC, I will leave a link to the VitaShell GitHub page in the description. Now keep in mind guys, if you updated it just like I did um, through Wi-Fi, you won't actually need to do this. This is just for people that aren't getting the update or if they wish to stay on airplane mode. So all you want to do is just scroll down and click vitashell.vpk and that will be begin downloading the latest version. So now go to your downloads folder on your PC and all you want to do, make sure your PS Vita is connected just like this and just drag and drop the vitashell.vpk. So now it's going to be just on the root like this. Now you can disconnect your PS Vita from your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so back on my PS Vita off my PC, all you want to do is just scroll down and go onto your UXO, then scroll down and from there you can find vitashell.vpk. So all you would do is just press X to install it. I've already got it installed, so I'm just going to press circle to go back. There's also one more thing to note guys, your SD to Vita might stop working if you update VitaShell. So all you want to do is make sure you have this installed, the TF card plugin, just press X and then press X on start. And then when it loads, make sure you just press circle on this one. So SD to Vita as UXO and then memory card as UMAO. I actually had to just do that because I had some problems. So all you would do is just press circle a few times and go through with it. You guys know how that works if you watch my previous video and it's very simple. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. That is how you update, update VitaShell to the latest version 1.95. Uh, two methods, the Wi-Fi method and then installing the VPK method. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.